Hey guys, so in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is giving you an introduction, a very quick introduction, into one of my favorite wireframing tools. And this tool is called Balsamic Mockups. And it's a great wireframing tool if you want to create very low fidelity, very quick wireframes, just to communicate concepts to people, show ideas to people without going into too much detail and without really having to worry about um, the finer details of a design such as typography, hierarchy, spacing and, and have to worry about things like um, pixel details and widths and different things like that. So it's a perfect tool if you just want to create very simple straightforward wireframes very quickly. Um, you can also create clickable mockups from the wireframes as well. So there's sort of an element of prototyping involved in it as well, which is very useful. We'll have a quick look at that too. Um, Balsamic has been around, I don't know exactly how long it's been around, but I've been using it for as long as I've been doing design. So that's about close to 10 years. Um, so I'd say it's probably been around at least that long. Um, it's available as a, a web application. So if we just head over to the uh, quickly, just take a look at the website. This is their website. It's available as a, a web application, um, but it's also available as a desktop tool as well. And that's what I'm looking at today. So that's my desktop tool there, Balsamic Mockups 3. Um, I would say the desktop tool is bit better because it's it feels a bit snappier a bit quicker <clears throat> the web tool sometimes depending on what you're doing can run a little bit slowly but I actually haven't used that for a while so they may have fixed that and that could just be my kind of you know something that I'm doing wrong um, so let's just quickly have a look at what the software is actually about so the software it's sort of a drag and drop type software so if we look at the top here um, we've got all our sort of elements that we could want to use to build a wireframe with. So we've got filters up here so we can look at all our different elements. And basically the the premise of the software is what it allows you to do is drag and drop and build wireframes from pre-existing elements. So you, it's not really like something like Sketch or UX Pin or more high fidelity design tools where you could um, draw out your own shapes and draw out your own um, kind of designs using a pen tool or something like that. What you're basically doing is just sticking to more block level elements. So at the top here we've got um, this toolbar with all the various elements that we can use when building our mockups and they're sort of filtered and categorized by fairly common categories when it comes to reusable elements and symbols. We've got sort of form elements such as buttons, um, drop down menus, um, radio buttons, switches, we've got a whole selection of icons, it's a pretty big icon library in Balsamic. Um, we've got sort of iOS patterns like the iOS keyboard, alert boxes, and different things like that. Um, we've got some things that relate to the layout of a web browser, um, media, so Google Maps, video player elements, and other forms of media. So you get the idea. So if we were just going to jump in and, and start building out a wireframe, what I'm going to do is just create something very simple, very quick, just to show you how easy it is to um, start using it. So let's say we want to design a web page. We could grab our browser. We could call it, uh, let's be really inventive and call it website.com. Um, we can specify the width of our browser over here if we wanted to. So we could say like a 1200 widescreen browser width and obviously my iMac screen is pretty widescreen so this fits in there nicely um, and then let's just say what we want to do is create a sort of a, a like a landing page so let's uh, let's have some text so let's grab some text so I'd head over here to here grab some text. I could use some, just some lorem ipsum for the purposes of this video. Grab that, put it in. That's quite a lot. So let's just, um, <clears throat> let's just grab this little bit. 
Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's have it in the middle of the page there, and then we want to add in uh, a heading. So let's grab this big title and say this is a big title. And then underneath that, we want to add a call to action. So let's go in, let's grab our buttons, and we can pull out uh, a button here, and we could say, um, join now, okay? And like a lot of other software, you've got sort of individual parameters that you control, can control for the element that you're working on over here on the right-hand side. So we can adjust the position using the X and Y axis. We can change the size of it. We can adjust it, excuse me, adjust its place in the visual hierarchy with the layer styles. The links we're gonna come to in just a second. Um, we can choose the state of the item, whether it's been selected or whether it's in focus or disabled. And we can obviously do things like change our text. So we can make this bold and we can make it a lot bigger if you wanted to as well. Um, let's just build out this page because why not? So this is our landing page. Underneath here, we're going to just add in. Uh, we want to add in some smaller paragraphs of text and we want to do a sort of a thing with like a three column layout so the cool thing i like about balsamic is because it's quite rough you know you don't have to worry you don't get sort of drawn into lining things up too um too accurately you know there's some kind of alignment tools up here that you can use um, just if you want to align the edges of different things but you don't you know if you're prototyping or, or creating wireframes in something like sketch often me personally I find I get a little bit drawn into sort of trying to line everything up really neatly and end up almost doing a bit of a design which is sometimes what you really want to steer away from so let's have a few shapes here and let's add a few icons into these shapes so let's go to our icon library and let's just choose something that stands out at us uh, what do we want let's choose a person it's very random let's just find another random icon uh, let's get that one <clears throat> and let's choose another random icon as well uh, what strikes me a star. Let's grab that one. And let's finish the page up with just another sort of call to action at the bottom. Actually, let's just... Again, all I'm trying to do is just kind of show you what you can do with Balsamic. Um, let's add in... Uh, it's adding a video player here. It's like a promotional video on our landing page. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have some smaller text underneath that. Um, and just like maybe a couple of lines. Just to describe what's happening in the video. Maybe we'll make this a little bit smaller and we'll add in a title. <laughs> there we go. That's sort of a landing page. It's not very detailed, but the idea is it's just, it's rough and you can show it to someone. Um, and it gets them to think about things like the content placement, the hierarchy of content, and it also allows you to do the same without getting too drawn into the details. So I'm just going to show you quickly how the sort of the prototyping works. So let's rename this to landing page. And we'll duplicate it and we'll call this sign up form. Now <clears throat> get rid of these. 
And now we're just going to pretend that uh, we've come through to a sign up page. So we'll just maybe make the layout a little bit different. Left align it. And let's make that a bit smaller. We're going to have a sort of a sidebar on the right. Something like that. We could put some things in. And we're going to build out a form. And we're just going to say, what do we want? We want like an input, so a text input. I'm going to add in a little label. I'm just going to say name. And again, super rough, but I can do a bit of alignment if I wanted to, just using those things. Name, email, and then let's just ask for a password. And let's have a really big sign up button, or like a join button. Let's have that stretch over here. And we'll say uh, join now. Make that bold, make it big. There we go. So that's our little sign up form. And what we're going to do is just say when a user clicks on this, they're going to go through to this page. So let's grab that. Uh, if we go back to here, which is what I spoke about earlier, you've got this little sort of little link uh, drop down. And what this lets you do is basically say the element that I've clicked on, send the person that clicks on it to this place, link it to this place. So I could link to uh, pages within my wireframe, or as you can see here, I could link to other things. I could link to a web address. I could link to um, another mock-up. I can go back or I can obviously have no link, which is the default. So let's just say I want to link to my sign-up form. Um, and what you get is a little arrow there. So if you're working with sort of a lot of wireframes that have a lot of functionality to them, you're always going to see, using this icon, you can always see what, what elements of the wireframe are interactive and can be clicked on. Now, if you want to demo that to someone or share that to someone or, or use it for user testing, what you do is you go up here on the top right and you click this little play button and that boots you into the presentation mode. <clears throat> and what can then be done is um, if someone was using the wireframe and uh, exploring it, they can go through and they can see, OK, I can join now. Get this little uh, cursor change that shows you that the element can be clicked and that will send them through to that page so that's just a very simple way that you can build clickable mock-ups within um, balsamic i'm just trying to think if there's anything else that's worth mentioning about it you can uh, view the different screens of your prototype uh, sorry of your wireframes in a couple of different views uh, you can create symbols as well, a little bit like you can in Sketch and other software. Um, so you can take one element and then you can create a reusable version of it, which is really, really useful. But I think that's pretty much it. That's just a quick video to give you an introduction to Balsamic Mockups. I think it's a great wireframing tool and it's quite good to also be able to build clickable mockups from your wireframes. Um, it's something I use on projects where I don't really want to go into too much detail and I just want to like throw some ideas um, down on the page or on the screen so to speak and then just be able to share those ideas with people um, in, a, in kind of a low fidelity kind of way. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to check Balsamic out, go to the website that I showed you. So you go here, I think you can do a 30 day, day free trial on the um, web app and the desktop app. <clears throat> I believe you can but check it out you'll be able to see it you can definitely do a free trial and if you've got any questions um, let me know in the comments section below this video uh, you've got any thoughts on balsamic or whether you, what you like about it what you don't like about it any experiences you've had using it then leave a comment in the section below the video and as always, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time. I'm putting out new UX content every week to help you learn new skills and become a better designer. All right. See you next time.